Hey, this is the pizza here, and I'm bringing you some more Guild Wars 2. And I believe this mission might start right off with a cutscene. So, I'm gonna let the cutscene roll and continue after that. Good news, Tribune. Fi on the Wraith has joined my warband. Well done, Legionnaire, and just in time for your next assignment. Rage Steel Tongue, one of Steelbane's thugs, has become a problem. After you took over, he joined the Flame Legion. He's determined to bring you down at any cost. I'll drag him back to blood by the scruff of his filthy neck. No, there's a time for mercy, and a time for mercy killing. I'm not giving Rage the chance to betray Blood Legion twice. Then we'll give him a real torch party. Good. Meet me down by the Citadel gates when you're ready to deploy. Dismissed. Alright, so one of Steelbane, who was the previous Legionnaire that I defeated in the arena, uh, one of his uh, Gladiums has defected and gone over to the Flame Legion. So we're gonna have to do something about that and this is the mission that I like to call the Exploding Cows mission. And you'll see why very shortly. So we're gonna just... I didn't bother cutting out the travel time between uh, here and the actual mission because it's very very short. I was like where am I supposed to be going here? Because <laughs> Like, the, the quest marker is right next to a portal, so I thought it was telling me to go through the portal to get to where the quest is, but no, it's it's right there. So this guy is, uh, he's deflected to, defected to the Flame Legion, and he's gonna try a little bit of sabotage here. And first things first is we got an unexpected shipment of cattle, and I'm gonna inspect those right after this conversation. At ease, Legionnaire. Ready to get started? More than ready, Tribune Brimstone. What's our next move? That mongrel toady, Rage Steel Tongue, was spotted in this area. Start with those cattle ranchers. Find out why they're here and if they've seen anything unusual. Get moving. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, so now we go over and, uh,. Talk to the cattle rancher here. This is a little bit of a, a little bit of a more peaceful mission. Uh, most of the missions are just like action, non-stop, which a lot of this game plays just very action-oriented. There's not a lot of downtime <clears throat> because you don't need to spend a bunch of time concerning yourself with. Oh yeah, this is why it's called the Exploding Cow Mission. Let's let this play out. Boom! So, that's how this guy decided to try to sabotage us with Exploding Cows. And, like I was saying, a lot of this game is just a lot of action. There's not much downtime. Like, in a lot of other MMOs, like World of Warcraft, you spend a lot of your time not actually doing something, but preparing to do something, uh, deciding what you're going to do next, waiting to get a group together. You just spend a lot of your time getting ready. You know, if I wasn't looking at a big pile of cow chunks, I'd be laughing. Laugh later. Right now I need to know where those Flame Legion imposters went. They headed deeper into town, to the west. Lead the way, Legionnaire. Rage just got promoted from mongrel toady to serious threat. Those exploding cows made me hungry. And I had to put that little uh, statement made by Dinky in at the end there. If you didn't hear, he just said, Those exploding cows made me hungry. <laughs> so, yeah, there's not much downtime in this game. All of your, your traits and skills, you can just jump right into the menu and reset them. And there also is a um, trait respec so you can reassign 
all of your traits for a fee which in the beta it did not scale with the amount of times you reset. And now once again a little bit more sabotage from this guy. Uh, it delivered some boxes with some unwelcome cargo. So like I was saying the traits you can reset at any time by just speaking to someone and they'll just uh, reset all your trade points and you can reassign them. So it didn't appear to have a great greater um, cost the more you you respect your traits. So let's say uh, most games you you reset your traits once already and yeah, that costs one gold. You reset them again, that's that's gonna be like two gold. Reset them again. All right, g give me four gold. Reset them again. You know, give me more gold, more and more and more. And heroes like. 1 silver, 30 copper, or something like that. And by the end of the beta, I had 1 gold, which 1 gold is just 100 silver. 100 silver is 100 copper. Copper is the lowest denomination. And if there's anything like a guild worth, maybe there's platinum after gold. I wouldn't know. But it was just a constant price. I reset my traits once just to see if the price did go up, and it didn't appear to, so that was rather nice. And Gosh dang it. <laughs> the guy was just like, I'm a target, him. Which sort of it uh lets me talk a little bit about how aggro works in this game. There's not a traditional aggro system. Like in World of Warcraft, and it's it's just an easy game to compare it to, because World of Warcraft is the top dog MMO right now. With Mr. Pandaria coming out, they're gonna try to get a bunch of new customers. And Guild Wars 2, with this beta, I'd say they probably, I'd say they have at least f four to five months left in development. It's going to be a while, because they only had levels 1 through 25 available, a lot of the story dialogue was not complete. Um, now I forgot what I was talking about. Oh right, the aggro system. So, uh... Aggro in this game is sort of random. You saw the guy I was shooting at and I ran away to try to get him to lose aggro on me. And he did. He started attacking the guys that were attacking him that were right next to him. But then at random he's just like... He's almost dead. I think I can kill him. So he just fires this one freaking flame shot over in my direction and takes me out. There wasn't really much I could do about that. He just happened to attack me. So you have to be on your guard a lot more because the aggro is more random, it's not as controlled. You can't designate someone to be a tank and say, you're gonna pull all the aggro, we're gonna make sure we don't pull any aggro. That just physically can't happen. You can have someone try to control an area by saying, alright, I'll trap him, I'll have a guardian say, I'll trap him in a bubble with me, uh, he won't be able to get out of the bubble for this period of time, but... I'm fairly certain that's one of the Guardian Elite skills, which means it has a relatively large cooldown. And in, during that time, the guy can just go anywhere. He could kill anyone he wants to. You gotta be dodging, you gotta be active. You have to use your heals when you need them, which your heals don't heal for much. Uh, depending on your heal, you might get maybe one-fourth... Roughly one fourth of your health back. Uh, maybe a little bit more at lower levels. But when you start leveling up and your health goes into the, the thousands, your heals don't do much at all. So you can't rely on your heals to just boost you back up to full when once you've gone down. I believe we're gonna have another cutscene relatively soon. I don't know when it comes up. Ah, okay. It's for a little bit. So what happened is we just uh took out all that cargo. And we have reports that the guy's in the steel mill, steel mill, <laughs> just north of here. So we're gonna get a little bit more intel on that. And I think this is a conversation. Sentinel reporting. What happened to you, soldier? It was a blood legionnaire. He seemed friendly, but when he clapped me on the shoulder, all the strength just drained right out of me. He took my clothes, my boots, my entire kit. Tell us where he went, and then get yourself to the infirmary. He was headed for the scrapyard. Give him a good thrashing for me when you find him. So now we're off to go and 
give him a good thrashing because he took that guy's clothes, his boots, and his motorcycle. So the scrapyard is right here, and this was actually an area that the the Flame Legion were attacking in the open world. Uh, if you let them attack, and dang it, another conversation. Did you get the gear? Got it right here. Put it on and you'll have free run of the place. They won't figure out they've been infiltrated until the damage has already been done. It's over, Steel Tongue. I took down that coward Steelbane, and now it's your turn. Just tell me one thing. Why? Why'd you betray us and join the Flame Legion? Too proud to serve your new Legionnaire? I had it all set. That coward Steelbane was the only thing between me and taking over this warband. Then you came along and beat me to it. At the end of the day, I don't care whose banner I serve under, as long as I'm the one giving the orders. Like right now, boss, I'm ordering you to die. So now we gotta just take down this guy and his posse. Shouldn't be too much trouble as he's a spineless weakling. Only wanting power. Power which he would never obtain. But regardless, he's got a lot of people with him, so. There's power in numbers, I suppose. I see that guy in front of me actually blocked some of the shots that I was aiming at the guy in the crowd. Now would have been a good time to have a bow and arrow so I could have lit them all on fire. <laughs> so I got these two guys chasing me and I'm just trying to backpedal away. And you do have to be facing your target to fire. Your guy won't turn around for that. Pull out my dual swords. Use a little bit of slashy slashy since these guys are right next to each other. Should probably use my flurry. Nope, don't need to. I'm just gonna stay out of combat for a little bit. And your health regens very, very quickly when you're out of combat. And you need only need to be out of combat for about five or so seconds before your health regens. Now the actual guy's getting pissed off and is gonna come in here. He's got a war horn, so he's gonna be buffing his allies. Probably take them out first, but I don't think I realized that at the time. So I go straight for straight for this guy. And the guy the archer in the back is just shooting at me. Trying to dodge his arrows. And I believe that bubble reflects projectiles, so I may have blocked a the shot there. Bulls Charge is a very nice ability for closing the distance in on a target or just knocking them down for a second so they can't attack you. My health is getting very low at this point and I I think I accidentally hit escape instead of hitting F1 or maybe just been panicking and mashed every button on my keyboard. Either way, managed to win, another conversation. The Flame Legion must be getting desperate if they're resorting to cow bombs. Desperation is a weapon, Legionnaire. If they're targeting our defenses, they're planning a major assault on the city. Tactically, a night attack makes the most sense. When it comes, I need you and your warband in the field. When the fighting starts, your orders are to maneuver behind their frontline troops and take out the rear guard. Without mages and artillery to support the main force, they'll never breach the Black Citadel's walls. It's an important job. Can you handle it? My soldiers are ready, sir. We won't let Blood Legion down. Good. Dismissed. So one thing you're probably noticing as a trend in these missions is I'm often just going down in the middle of the mission. And that's that's a good thing. They actually made these fairly difficult so that you can't just waltz through them no matter how high level you are. Unless, of course, you're level 80 with level 80 gear going into a level 1 mission. I mean, of course you're going to stomp it. But it's nice to finally see an MMO that, for the most part, will challenge you based on skill rather than gear. If I dodged some more of their attacks, if I'd healed at the right time, if I'd used my skills more appropriately, I would have done better. And I'll see you next time.